We're asked to graph the line passing through the given point with the given slope. For number one, we are given the point at negative three comma four and a slope of zero. Let's begin by plotting the given point of negative three comma four. From the origin, we move left three units and then up four units. Whenever using the slope to graph a line, it's helpful to have the slope in fraction form. To write any integer as a fraction, we can form the fraction by making the denominator one. So the given slope m is equal to zero, which is equivalent to zero divided by one. Notice in fraction form, we know the change of y is equal to zero when the change of x is one. Or we can say the vertical change is zero and the horizontal change is one. So from the given point, to find additional points, because the change of y is zero or the vertical change is zero, we do not move up or down, but because the change of x or the horizontal change is positive one, we move right one unit. And we can repeat this process. Up or down zero, right one. Up or down zero, right one. And now we can sketch the line, which is a horizontal line passing through the given point. Remember, any horizontal line has a slope of zero. And now we're asked to give three points on the line where the given point is this point here, negative three comma four. One point on the left would be negative four comma four. One point on the right would be negative two comma four. Let's go ahead and list these three points. Again, we have from left to right, negative four comma four, and then negative three comma four, as well as negative two comma four. Now, if we take a look at these ordered pairs, notice how all of them have a y coordinate of zero, which is why if we were asked to give the equation of the line, it would be y equals four. Next, we're asked to graph the line with the point two comma negative three, and the slope is undefined. Again, let's first plot the given point of two comma negative three. From the origin, we move right two and down three. And now, because the slope is undefined, we want to write a fraction that would be undefined. And since division by zero is undefined, one option for the slope would be m equals one divided by zero. Again, since division by zero is undefined. Now that we have the slope in fraction form, we know the change of y is one when the change in x is zero. So going back to the given point, because the change of y with the vertical change is one, we would go up one unit. But because the change in x or horizontal change is zero, we would not move left or right and therefore this point is on the line. And again, we can repeat this. Up one, left or right, zero. Up one, left or right, zero. Notice now we have a vertical line passing through the given point. Remember, any vertical line has an undefined slope or no slope. And again, we're asked to give three points on the line. The given point was the point two comma negative three. Let's use this point as one point below the given point and this point as one point above the given point. So the point below the given point is two comma negative four. The given point is two comma negative three. And the point above the given point is two comma negative two. Notice for all these points, the x coordinates are equal to two, which is why the equation of this vertical line is x equals two. I hope you found this helpful.